Yeah, I feel like we always trying to one up each other. Like me, Preston, Travis, Colton, it's always like a little competition. So I feel like we just pushing the bar higher and higher for our secondary limit. Like it really ain't no limit to us. Honestly, I feel like we the best secondary in the nation still. DJ, you play in a system where you're on, on an island on your own a lot, it's, it, and, that, and that's hard for a corner. Is that something that you're more comfortable with at this point in the season than you were when you got here? Oh, yeah, definitely m way more comfortable, way more comfortable. You know, Coach Mathis, Coach uh, Primley, you know, they've just been harping on me more, telling me how to play better techniques, you know, just making sure I'm in the right minds, mindset, what to look at. So it's just been way, way more comfortable coming in for sure, especially this time during the season. DJ, last season, this team was kind of searching for a second corner to step up alongside Travis. And then a couple weeks ago against Arizona, Travis really isn't a part of the game plan, but you, Preston Colton, are kind of able to step up and have a good game. How, how much pride do you guys take in being able to kind of handle, handle the game plan and handle the load in the secondary? Like I said, we just, we just hungry. We always hungry, you know, always trying to one-up each other, always trying to compete, no matter who we playing against. Like, it really don't matter what receiver come out there, what – what formation, like what style of play they got, we ready to compete every every down. So I feel like we just play off each other. We see uh, each other make a play. We try to make a play too, you know, but we're not really chasing play. We just letting it come to us, really. So we just holding it down. Hey, DJ, I have a couple questions for you. Um, you know, first off, uh, Coach Mathis, you know, what have you learned from him and, and kind of what makes him a good coach for you? He's really opened up like the more mental part of it. I feel like, you know, formations, uh, tendencies receivers do, different techniques, styles. So I feel like it just makes it way more easier with Coach Math Mathis like telling me how to like just read, read my opponent. Uh, second thing is you, you were on a team last year that was pretty successful. Uh, this team is trying to, to learn how to deal with that. So what, what's the key to dealing with success? I say just stay hungry really. Just know what you're working towards, know what you want to do, and just keep after it, stay hungry. Hey, DJ Packer, I'm Associated Press. Um, let's just say that the Heisman Committee came to you and said, hey, describe Travis. Why is he a Heisman? Well, how, why would you cast your vote for him? What would you say? I would say, man, he just stood in the game first, and then he just all-out dog. Everything, he's going to compete 100%. He's going to give you 100% every play. And he just loved the game. Like, he loved the game. And it's nobody else in the country doing what he's doing. I feel like. The Heisman is for the best player in the country, right? That's Travis Hunter. So, yeah. Hey, DJ. Um, it's your third year in the Big 12 now after two at Oklahoma State. Just how much does that experience, you know, reaching the championship game last year, how much are we able to kind of share about that experience as, you know, you guys are trying to chase that goal yourselves? Yeah, we just see, we just see an opportunity for the taking. So we got to go get it, really. One week, one week at a time, one and know each week. That's how we look at it. Just stay hungry. Questions? Jay. Hey, DJ. <clears throat> Just how do you guys, you know, when you guys played a passing team in Arizona, it blew them out by 27. Uh, you're approaching another team here in Texas Tech who loves to throw the ball. Just what is your approach personally and the secondary's approach going into this game? Uh, we just got to make sure our preparation is on point, you know, know what we're looking at, know what we're going to face. So, really, I feel like the preparation side is way more important than actually just playing. So. Once we see it on film, we know what to look for in the game. So I feel like we're just ready and just going to go out there and compete every play, no matter who in front of us. Hey, DJ. When you transferred here this offseason, you wanted opportunity. You wanted a place where you could shine. Right. We kind of talked about that a little bit earlier in the year. Now, eight games into it, why did Colorado make sense for you as a transfer? And why do you think it makes sense moving forward for some, maybe some of these other guys who have maybe already hit the portal and kind of looking around maybe where their next destination might be? If you want a coaching staff that's going to be honest with you, if you want to be around players that are as hungry as you, like if you really want to go to the next level, if you want to be around that style of play, you know, NFL guys who've done it, seen it and done it and know what to look for and will help you develop, I feel like this is a this is the destination. This is the best place you want to be. So I feel like this has been the best decision of my life, of one of where I want to go, which is the league. So yeah. So you'd say it's lived up to your expectations, oh, yeah, and maybe definitely. surpassed them. Definitely.